Oh. Hey, welcome back to the basement. Uh, today, I just got my Hacker Box, and I was super excited to see that they included some um, WS2812B uh, RGB LED lights, which is perfect because I've been wanting to take this purple cloak and run lights along the inside of it. So if I was wearing it, the lights would go from, you know, about here, up around, and back down here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna try to do. I always have this weird habit of, like I never wanna use the microcontrollers that I get because I'm always afraid that uh, I'm not using them to their full potential, like I'm kind of wasting the microcontroller. But uh, today, we're not gonna do that. Today, we're gonna, we're just gonna open it and use it, and we're not looking back. All right, let's go. The next step will be sewing these into place. Seems like it's sticking pretty well. That's awesome. So you just want to be careful that you're not letting this hood bunch up too much. You don't want to sew it on with like wrinkles built right into it. Oh yeah. I know you like my hat technique. Sweet. Since it's already stuck down, I'm gonna start at the top here. And I'm just gonna do um, some, you know, sloppy loops in between the lights here. And I'll come down one side, tie it off, come back, start again, come down the other. Now that we have this done, I need to attach the microcontroller. You can see all the threading coming across here, those little purple lines. Hopefully that'll hold it on between that and the adhesive. So the first thing I need to do is get some wires soldered onto here that I can run over. Then I have to solder them onto this and sew it in place. And then we'll be ready to start programming. What the f I'm gonna attach it to the V-in. V-in is like a direct voltage connection to the USB power, so this will be able to pull a lot more amperage than these individual pins here. Which is important because these NeoPixels are gonna need more amperage than the data pins can provide on this. Alright, I don't see any risk of shorts or anything here, so I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to sew this down like this. I'm kind of purposely wrapping all of these cables under it so that they're not so exposed. And I'll sew some loops around them too so they stay in place. I'm also going to tie a knot into this screw hole before I start sewing so that this end is secured to the microcontroller. All right. It almost looks like I know what I'm doing here. You might also be wondering, why the fuck didn't I test this before I sewed it in permanently? And that would be an amazing point. I bet I'm gonna regret that. Okay. I think gonna be okay here. It's got some adhesive on the back and corners are taped down. The wires are sewed in. Flexing here will definitely bone these. So if I was smart I would put a huge thing of hot glue over this. We have a microcontroller. First we're going to take a cue from the hacker box example and import the fast lead library. Then we'll define D1 as a data pin and 50 LEDs. This is just going to be a really simple demo to prove out the idea. I'll come back later and add more modes and an ad hoc web page to adjust things. 
The code is going to stream random lengths of blue down the side symmetrically. We'll use a variable called animation step to keep track of where we're at in the animation. If it's below 25, then it's running the blue lights down. 25 to 1000 will just be blank LEDs to give the animation a pause.